But yeah, we're good. More self referee, drag Izzy there. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So, expectation-wise, I think Slotash should win. Uh, Izzy is like a gold level player, like high gold, uh, maybe low plat, and then um, Slotash, I believe, is like low diamond. So I think he should win. Izzy does have some weird builds, so he's like warped in. You know, I'll be just like playing normal game, and then he'll have like a. Uh, uh, battle cruiser, you know, like warp in your mineral line. You're like, oh, interesting. This is actually like, kind of have to deal with this. So maybe you can pull out something weird, but we'll see. And uh, have these players played versus each other before in this tournament? No, slow toss tournament? is fairly new. Okay. This is the first tournament he's been to. I think he's been to a community night before, okay. but never a tournament. Um, all right, so come on, we can do the little, uh, you know, in the top right corner, find the blue pro toss. Thank you. Alright, in the top right corner we have the uh, blue Protoss, slow toss. Ooh. And in the bottom left, the red tear, we've got Izzy Tang. So the players don't know each other, but they can see each other's ranks. So it'll be interesting to see whether each player tries for something particularly aggressive for slow toss, either to try and end the game quickly because he's stronger, or for Terran to try and gain the upper hand because he's weaker. So far, the openings are pretty conservative. Yeah, and I think I talked to slow toss just barely before this started. Oh, I'm also going to do that. Um, and he said he usually likes to go for a weird, like, kind of like seven minute all in time. Not, I don't think he said all in. But he's had a push timing, you know, early. So I'm expecting him to be aggressive eventually. He's Protoss. Protoss players can't all in. <laughs> They're always fine. Yeah. Just make more, more next eye. He is going Nexus before Cyber. Oh, and he's also going Zealot. I don't like that. Yeah, it's strange. Didn't he probe scout? He did, yeah. The probe's still in there. Um... And the only reason I would like a Zealot is if he went fast cyber to try to get like a, uh, a Stalker out with it or an Adept and like be really annoying at uh, Izzy's natural. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Um, but I feel like the Zealot's not gonna do too much. Like they're, he's gonna have an Adept out fairly soon. Yeah, I mean the only thing I can think of is that it's a safety Zealot in case his opponent was gonna cheese him. Like proxy or something, yeah. yeah. But the probe scout was early enough that he could see the Rax was in the main. Now I, I'm not sure if he's been Did able he to. Did he not start? A warp gate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not his production. It. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Surely he's wondering why is my robo so early. There we go. Okay. So shouldn't destroy whatever build he's going for, but a little bit annoying. So I guess they're in time to maybe delay this for a second. But, I mean, yeah, Team Marine should be able to clean that up pretty easily. The Robo first is interesting for Protoss. Usually the Twilight or Stargate first is the preferred option. Yeah, especially if you're going to go into, like, a like Blink uh, with, like, Observage or something with the Robo. He might be just doing a more aggressive uh, Warp Prism. Oh, he's not building gateways either. Like if he was doing War Prism with like three or four gate uh, yeah. and just had stalkers, you know, trying to kind of get around the blink uh, by using war, uh, by using a War Prism, that would make sense. But yeah, he only has one gateway. Rushing an immortal. Maybe he's just doing. Oh, he's probably doing a just a mortal charge lot, and then just trying to shove in. Is what my guess would be based on what he has right now. Maybe. He doesn't have any gases as natural. Um, still is fully saturated. We'll see what. Yeah, yeah there's, okay. There's so the charge. charge. You called it. So I guess maybe a immortal and then a warp prism and build a ton of gates. Second immortal. Is yeah, I don't here? think he needs the warp prism yet since he doesn't have okay. the gateways. Yeah, I mean, I think he just should be building the gateways though. You know, I don't think. <laughs> 
I think you should be building the war prison and the gateways. But we'll see. I mean, what is Izzy doing? So Izzy's just getting a tank out. Playing pretty safe. So it's a pretty early second barracks. Normally from Terrence in this matchup, we see some kind of 1-1-1 one, one, one before additional barracks are added. It's unusual oh, yeah. that he has both a second barracks and isn't getting a stim. <clears throat> yeah, no Stargate at all. Okay, there's a Stargate. I will say, if he if he makes tanks non non-stop, the splash should be pretty strong against charge lots. Yeah, once he cleans up this charge lots, should be f uh, you know immortals will do a decent amount of tanks, but without a war prison to like juggle and stuff. Well, he's getting it now. It's gonna be really hard. Oh, true. Yeah, I guess he has to have it before he moves out. You don't want to move out without a war prison. Starting to march across here. Well, he could have done it even faster if he just proxied a uh, warp gate and a pylon. Then he wouldn't have needed Ooh. the war prison. He could have attacked as soon as the second immortal arrived. Yeah, and then just been able to reinforce throughout it. I do like a war prism for like juggling and stuff as well, but yeah, that would have it would have hit a lot harder. He gave him a decent amount of time to get these tanks out. Does he only have one tank? All right, he only has one tank. The other tank's finishing up pretty soon, though. Yeah, I'm scared for Terran. One bunker is definitely not enough to hold this. He's got a decent amount of marines, but yeah, with charge. It was good that he was able to see that it's coming, but I don't feel like he's respecting the strength of this attack. Yeah, he's not responding to what he saw. He's getting at least the other tank down here. He needs like six SCVs on that bunker and to be building another bunker. I feel like this tank also needs to be in range of this tank, yeah. right? Or else they don't really protect each other. Maybe push. Uh, he's pushing the... I don't know how aggressive <laughs> I'd be. Where's the... Uh... Okay. Oh, maybe doing a flank. Okay. That's just gonna get shot down by the tank. That sucks. Cancel. Cancel. That uh, tank's done. Yeah, actually totally worth it. I was so wrong. Uh, I wouldn't say worth it. Since he's not... Oh, he is attacking the front. Okay. And if he gets the other tank. Yeah, now the tank's not even set up. So these zealots can get good connections. If Izzy could focus down that warp prism, it might be worth it, but... No way. Too many charge at, Yeah, making a wall. He needs to retreat to the high ground. Yeah, that's oh, he needs to not fight on the low ground. He's not respecting the strength of these charge lots. And the tank's barely in range of where he's fighting, too. I think Protoss is taking this. Yeah. The war prism's still alive? Yep. I'm surprised he's being more so zealous. conservative with it. Well, yeah, now he's he taking their mortals, <laughs> yeah, and just gonna destroy these tanks. takes it pretty convincingly yeah yeah I mean Terran saw the immortals in front of his base but he didn't take them seriously or he thought that there was nothing behind him yeah it'll be interesting to see in this second game <coughs> how he adjusts if he blind makes more bunkers in anticipation of such an attack gives more respect yeah to that early game push yeah maybe he didn't think like I don't know, because there's so many zealots that like he almost has to have charge, but maybe if he didn't have charge, it doesn't look as scary. But so I don't actually think he saw very many zealots um, when he walked forward with his marines. He saw two immortals and I think just a couple stalkers or something. Oh really? Okay, so maybe because the charge lots are all warped in by the warp warp prism. Oh yeah, because I did all wait. Yeah, his first units were both stalkers. And I think Protoss waited for two warp ins. He had six or seven gates. Okay, so yeah, maybe not thinking that it was like, you know, a charge lot all in. Although it is weird to do too much harassment with immortals being so expensive. I guess immortals warp prism you can kind of get away with sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so I know he had that early second barracks and he got stem. Although it was a little late, but I don't think he had combat shields, so the Marines really couldn't fight at all. Mm -hmm. Alright, in the bottom right hand corner, with the blue Protoss we've got, Slow Toss.
And in the top left of the red turn, we've got Izzy Tang on his winner's game, winner's life. Oh, it looks like he's doing some cheese. Two SCVs already going across the map. So I guess double racks, do you think? Marauders? I know sometimes they hide both. <coughs> no though. gas. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. It has to be Marines. So there's a lot of Marines. I'm Interesting. Going for the probe scout again, so we'll know about it fairly soon. I'm su <gasps> There's two more. I was going to say, I was very surprised if it was only two racks. Because he has no gas. Oh, that sucks. He almost for sure saw that. I wasn't able to check in time. That that seemed so close. I guess we'll see if he reacts. I mean, the probe definitely had vision. I was going to say, yeah, I guess the mini map. Yeah, yeah. He's not staring at his probe as it goes across. Yeah, he's doing the expand. Okay. Is he doing some cheese? It might work. <laughs> All right, so he knows what's up. Or he knows something's up. Doesn't expand. Smart. Gets the zealot again. Cyber is a little bit delayed. Um... Oh, but he's getting a pro uh, pylon at his ramp, so... He needs another gateway, though. Gonna try battery. to just defend the high ground. Can't There's get shield battery yet. There's the gateway, though. All right, how, how do you feel this is going? If you're if you're this Terran and you knew that the protest was responding like this... I feel like, in theory, Terran should be in a really good spot right now, but it comes down to his micro, and last game I was not convinced by his micro. Okay. Although that was a scary position for him to be in. Maybe he was panicking last game. He definitely has the initiative this game. We'll see how he uses it. All right, first soccer started. There's the shield. Shield batteries are going down. Shield batteries are though. so yeah. freaking good. If you don't have like, I, I want to say like almost like five or more marines, you're not going to be able to do enough DPS to out, you know, out damage the healing. Yeah, he needs to kill this pylon before those finish or the attack. Oh over. yeah. Yeah, the micro. He can't be focusing on the gateway. Come in with a pro pull. Could get a good surround. Needs to make sure he doesn't get a surround. Alright, at least gets a few probe kills. Can move away from the shield batteries. I think if he just goes for probes. It's, uh, well, I guess he still has all four of his barracks there. So six probes down, seven. It's a good start. And, and the micro is not bad. Don't think there's any way he's going to get another probe. But. Yeah, seven probes, definitely not bad. Yeah, Doing but anything at two home. stalkers with the shield batteries? I don't see how he gets anything else done. Yeah, especially if he's feeding them in here like this. He can't rally them where they're going to fight 1v1. I mean, even if all of those marines are focused on the stalker, I don't think it takes damage with, yeah. with those shield I, batteries. I, like I said, I think it's probably around five marines that like start to out-DPS. And that even takes a while because... This is held. Yeah, he, and he needs us to stop pushing. Okay. If you got like a 16 or something though, you know, got like a few rounds of them, I feel like they might be able to Even then, get down, but yeah. I mean, at this point, yeah, GG. It was a good shot by Terran. Yeah, I really like the idea. It was unlucky that he sent the uh, third and fourth SCVs at the same time the probe crossed the bridge. That was ill-timed. Yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, I think it's what, like you said, they're like, even though the pro vision, I don't think he saw it. I think once the probe got to the base, though, yeah. he still was probe scouting off, like, I think the pylon. Maybe it was the gateway. It was but gateway scout. It was gateway, okay. Um, but it was still, like, it was way too fast. Uh, yeah. And, and he even delayed putting 